And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. Starting on the mound in this one, Hogan Harris. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win off the on the mound today. Walk Here's Lane Thomas. The right field. Lane Thomas. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind and the pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 2. This one in the air center field. Ruiz under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. And one to watch, of course, their three-hole hitter, Joey Manessis. Well, these days, we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Stoney Garrett stands in now and watches strike one. Got away with that one. Left the curveball up a little bit. He's going to have to finish it if it's going to be an effective pitch. Down the line. Rooker makes the grab on the run. Batting third. The first baseman. Two outs, Joey base is empty. Menezes. And now the first baseman, Joey Manessis. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. In the air, right side. And that's a foul ball. Field two. One and ball, there's a ball. Two strike. Two outs, base is empty. That's ball. down and in. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Noda makes the grab on the run. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Ziggy getting the nod on the mound. Jackson Rutledge. What should we keep an eye on here? There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Bottom of the first, and yeah, now right, here's right. a speed threat. No, Outfielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Ruiz. And the pitch. High in the air, out to right. Thomas has a beat on it, and it's caught for the out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. At the bottom of the lineup, a guy trying to turn things around. Oledmis Diaz. Well, you see the batting average there. Not pretty. And the on-base percentage has followed. And it's a bit uglier. Under 300. When that's the way it's going, I, I got to imagine it's tough for his manager to pencil him into the lineup. But he's also one of those guys that you need. You know that he's one swing away from breaking out. Sometimes you just got to grind your way out of these slumps. So I'm just oh, hoping right. we see something positive out of him in this one. Ryan Noda, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Ball. Just missed. Back 
That's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Here comes a pinch. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes that to shoot the ball the other way. The but that time, a little anxious. Zach Gillum stands in now, looks at that one inside. And the righty deals. That to right. Settles under this one. That is the inning. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Rosario goes six foot one, 32 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Popped in the air, left field. Brown makes the catch, and there's one gone. That is now it's Nick Senzel. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The 1 0. Foul ball there. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. No score here in the second. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. And that one clips the corner. Two outs. No, inside. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And a nope, good eye there. there. It's a good take. Next one misses three and two down. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he deals. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Gets a piece. And stays alive. About to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here.
Good job to fight that one off. The kick, the 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. At the belt and fires. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that Batting walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. Ruiz at second. Garcia on at first with two now. pitch and that one fouled off and a pitch fouls it back with two strikes two on two outs Fights that one away, still one and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Here's a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Oh, he throws it away. Headed for the plate. And he's out. Tried to score the error, but instead the third out, and the inning is over. So the Nats leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. for a strike it's 0 and 1 well as a hitter you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game but if that's how it's going to be all day it's going to be a tough one for the offense next offering is in for a strike Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes pretty standard zone for Johnson sometimes he might get a little jumpy a little excited and expand the zone but usually if you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it and that's important because you got to make players earn it and he grounds one to the right side. Nice grab from his backside. And very nicely done for the out. I love the fact that the pitcher didn't become a spectator on this play. Nice job by the first baseman to dive, get dirty, knock that ball down. And if the pitcher's not there, he's got nobody to flip it to. Excellent job by both those guys. So here's Brown at the plate. That's in there. That's strike one. All in one. One down, base is empty. Aye. And strike two. Oh, two is the count. Next oh. offering misses. One and two to count. On the ground. Fires across oh. the diamond. And that quickly, two away. Yeah, look at his body language, and he just cut, cut. doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his back the way it did earlier in the regular season. And now here's the A's catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Ball one there. And that's off. 
along the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. That's in there. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. The pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Senzel makes the catch, and that'll do it. So, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We play two full, no score. And we're back on the third that. inning. Here's Victor Robles. Victor Robles. And here it comes. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Waste no time there. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. The batting order turns over. And now Lane Thomas. Fouled off. He was late. <laughs> Robles runs. This ball's chopped in the ground. In plenty of time to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Garrett at the plate now. That's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And it's threw away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Mendes takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Robles stands at second with two gone. That one's in there. And one and one. Next offering misses down and away. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Eddie Rosario up next for Washington. And the pitch. Fall off foul. Payoff pitch. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Nationals leave one. And we're still knotted at zero. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is Miguel Andujo. Rutledge back to work. That catches the corner. All one's the count. And a foul ball. A 
next offering upstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in low two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Righty delivers. Oh, and the slider right just misses. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Righty to the plate. Right down on strikes. One up, one down. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched it up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. in for a strike it's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. back in the day that was a pretty good fastball but with high velocities these days that speed differential is right where it needs to be and look out as that one ran in and got him he had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch let miss diaz now Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Right hander kicks deals. Up and in. And that is ball one. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. One ball throw. Save. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. Man at second. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the right hander deals. Three. Got him. Out number two. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Now got, got a pitch to hit. Just good. couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of a plate than it was supposed to. And stepping in is the speedy Este Yuri Ruiz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure this team is chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. That clips the corner. That one not close. And a count two and one. The other way, and that's a base hit. Around third, fires it to the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. One nothing. Makes himself up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down, digging in for Oakland, Ryan Noda. That one finds the zone, 0-1-1. One, one. Outside. Here 
Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first into center. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. As the A's are on top, you're dialed into the show. Back here in the East Bay, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Eddie Rosario. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left center. Brown calls it in, and there's one away. Up next, the walk off. The third base. Nick Senzel digging in for the Nationals. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Strike in the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And now the lefty. Out in front, and foul to the left side. One down, base is empty. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup oh, earlier enough. Got ball. out in front a little bit, the rolled over on it, and Kiebert. beat it into the ground. Ruiz. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. One for one with a single so far. First pitch misses. Counts one and oh. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. I got a ball, one straight. And that's, that's in. off ball two. the inside edge. And a count two and one. And a big swing and a miss to <laughs> the change up right there. Just pulled the string. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nationals go quietly. They still trail 1 0. I've got a habit of doing my own thing. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm a recline. I'm my young. Back in Oakland. Bottom four. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Zach Gellar. Pitch. There's a strike. The line to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The O2. And One that's ball. downstairs Two and strikes. outside. Kicks and deals. And Whoa, ball that evens the count. Down. Really good take, especially with two strikes. We Next offering count. upstairs. pitch foul ball and it remains a full count and the righty deals that one misses so a lead off walk Brent Rooker digs in now 0 for 1 he grounded out to first his last time
And that's in there for strike one. You know, these athletics do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient advance out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Quick three-pitch strikeout, and you look at the sequence. The plan was clearly to work him inside. Didn't want to let him get his arms extended, make him a little bit uncomfortable in there, and he ended up overmatching him in the process. That's one you have to take note of as a hitter for next time you come to the plate. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. That pitch gets the inside corner, and that is strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one, and that's two. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We're headed to the fifth. It's the A's one, and the Nationals nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. And the pitch. Clips the corner. And that's strike one. one. You know, these Nationals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that is shortstop. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the shortstop, Ildemaro Vargas. He's 0 for 1. Off Just missed. The 1 0. The shortstop takes a ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count 2-1. and one. A's leading by a run here in the second game of the series. On the ground, right side. Nice stop. Throws from the seat of his pants. Throws it away. A couple of singles back to back. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with the chance to even this ball game up. And now it's Victor Robles up to him. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Raleigh well, gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Lane Thomas, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. Runners at the corners, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Four. The next pitch misses. And that's ball one. one oh. Action in the pen down there. Number 14, preparing to come on if needed. Medina warming up as well. Smash down the left field line. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 2-1. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. He was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, 
Takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. And here's the DH for Washington. Stone Garrett. Just oh, missed. Garrett, 28 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Snap throw to first. Hey. Robles dives back in. And he deals. Inside, just missed. And that one hammered. That's back. That one is gone. And they add to their lead. It's 4-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. guy to be able to hit a change up at that velocity tells me he would have been ready for a fastball just impossible to cover that wide of range of velocity but he does a nice job picking his pitch and he gets rewarded for it Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals swing and a miss it's on one well a really rough inning out there on the mound and uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Still only one out here in the inning. Jet swing on an 0-2. Appeal to first. Did not go. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. And that one is lifted in the air. That gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The left field, 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 number eight. And here comes Mark Kotze as he's ready to make a change and go to the bullpen. Hogan Harris will depart, and it's going to be a start that he'd like to get a redo on, not his best. Back with a new arm in a minute. On to pitch now for Oakland, number 14. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Here's Eddie Rosario. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever, and ball. ball one. One ball, two strikes, account. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, a tough play, and now there are runners at first and second. Now got it. Third base, Nick Senzel. And now up for Washington, Nick Senzel. And that's outside. outside. That's Two on, one out. Swung on, belted. Rooker going back on this one. And it is gone. He sends one out the opposite way. It's their second home run of the inning. And they add to the lead. It's 7-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure.
His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. And now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. That's in there. Strike one. And it's fouled away. Oh, and Chu now. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure it's been a sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Ground ball right side. Noda. He takes it oh. himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 7 1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, Tyler Soderstrom. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. Well, every pitcher wants run support, oh, and having no a play. lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. He swings and fouls one off. Bounce to the left side, and that's just foul. And that's a foul ball. One, two. That's a little bit low. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Way full outside, count. full countdown. The wind and the pitch. And there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and we no strikes, but eight. now at least he gets a fresh but start against a new hitter. batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. On Duhar in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Soderstrom gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That oh, just misses. Now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Pitch misses. Two and two. Ah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away oh, from the hitter, good. low and away with some third good third action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Diaz, batting with one down, takes a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He can live oh, up two. in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. 
That's off the mark. And the count one, one and two. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right the there. Bad. That's a result of a That's good job of changing oh, speeds. Off speed pitch on the yeah. one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up the speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, hey. but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was oh, looking for at the plate either. Diaz, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Oh, Just missed. And now a flare into left, and it drops in. Throw in hopes the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. You take those big hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Ruiz in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. pitch on the ground right side and it goes just foul kicks and fires on the ground at first he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it a strand a couple they're down seven to one And we're back to the top of the man. sixth inning. And here the is Ildemaro Vargas. Vargas. Here comes a pinch. Fastball Aye. in for a strike going one. All one's the count. And a strike in there. And the 0-2. This to center field, and it falls, and the leadoff man aboard. A couple of hits in a row for now, him now, here. Now. Pretty the good spot, field. hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability right. to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. The Nats up big in this one, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And that one fouled off. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And the pitch swings and lines one towards the gap and that gets down for a base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody no, out no, no. having himself wait, wait, a really wait. nice game at the plate a lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head that's what I'm trying to do just keep that approach simple and right there it was perfectly executed on time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely next to hit for the Nats Lane Thomas Rolled softly, but that goes foul. First and second here, no outs. In the dirt. Not in time, he's safe. And it's second and third with nobody out. Well, Boog, it's already been a tough start to this inning as it is, and that wild pitch is going to make things even tougher. Two men in the scoring position now, still with nobody out. So this really becomes a strikeout situation on the mound.
wouldn't Inside chase that time. Well, that two seam fastball is a great pitch from a right hander to a right handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. Got it! And that is a big first out. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball, burn to the outside corner. I'll tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Garrett stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Two on, one out. Now oh, one and one. Good nope. eye in that spot. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. On the ground. Oh, great stop. Throws from his knees. It's there, and that's a great play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop no, no. up to both no, no. knees. Not enough time to get no, to his no. feet, but he no, threw no. a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Luis Medina. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. At the play, Joey Manessis, one for three. First oh, offering, and it just misses. And here it comes. Ripped into right center. Base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 9-1. Manessis into second, and he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And it's scoring position with two away. Eddie Rosario now at the plate. And a swing and a miss there. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with you're better off taking that pitch two outs so a foul ball makes it one and two in the dirt but kept close and an excellent job keeping it right there. Man on second, two down. This one lifted in the air, left field, Brown under it. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Nationals nine, and the A's one. Down the young and what I owed him. Bottom of the six, digging in for Oakland, Ryan Noda. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Manessas grabs it on the run. Now back, second base Zach now it's the second baseman, Zach Gillum. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Trevor Williams appears to be getting loose. 
The A's with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. And that another ball. ball. Side almost got it. Check swing, no appeal, two and oh. That one missing inside. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Man at first, one away. Again, and it remains three and two. And the pitch stays alive. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Belton fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Now the left fielder, Seth Brown. Hey, he takes a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second. Do you want him to go early in the count? That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And that's outside. And the count is one and two. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Ruiz drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And the inning is over. The A's strand one. They trail it big. It's 9-1. The blessing for the bread dread. The bread dread. The bread dread. I got my blessing because the father never left him. Blessing. He did it for the bread dread. Bread dread. I kept it all smiling. Back here in the East Bay. New inning getting started. Now here is Nick Senzel. The pitch. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. And that's too high. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. In there at the knees. And it's two and one. One strike. Righty to the plate. That okay. misses, and the count's full. Got him looking. 
And one away. Up Come down for that. Washington. Hebert that's Ruiz. That's Hebert. Three pitch strikeout last Ruiz. time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Just off the outside edge. One and oh. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. Three one, and he couldn't right. come up with it. The batter number two, second base. And now it's Luis Garcia, one for two. That just misses, and that's ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Two balls, no strike. That Ball one three. misses. That's five straight. I got three and zero. Oh. And ball That's four ball to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the, bat, bat. the game plan that the he's sticking shot. to. He's just not Ildemaro. going outside of what he's looking for up there. And now up for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. The pitch. That hey. one's in there. And it's nothing in two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. 0-2 now. And they'll do it again. Kicks and deals. The One shortstop ball. takes the Two ball. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Typically that high fastball, if it's now, close to the top the of the strike three. zone, a hitter, Victor. if he's prepared for it, can get Whoa. to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Two on, two outs. Swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. Sit down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So the Nats leave a pair, but they still hold a commanding 9-1 lead. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Trevor Williams. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And now here's the ace catcher, go. Tyler Soderstrom. The catcher. Tyler Soderstrom. The pitch. And that's inside, off one. the inside edge. And it's 1-0. Oh. The pitch. That one catches the zone, and the count is one and one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there.
And now it's one and two. That That's one missed. Two. Two, two, yeah. Still two and two after the foul ball. A little bit low. Outside, nope. and that is ball, ball four. four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close Boogie pitches, Boogie. and somehow Boogie no, found no, a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I could have uh, Line drive, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now the third baseman, Jordan Diaz. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. Headed down the line. And that will drop foul. The Nationals up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. This one popped up right side. Moving under this one. And out number one on the grab. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty oh, good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Oh, oh. Diaz. Two on with one out. Oledmis Diaz digs in now. In, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. He was all oh, over oh, that one. Just a cookie oh, down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Oh, ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now a chance for Este Yuri yeah. Ruiz. That one, one finds the zone. That's strike one. Bases loaded, one away. Here in the second game of the series. Just oh, missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Eight, that clips two. the corner. One ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Ah. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two no, strikes, no, no. slider no, down and away from the same side oh, yeah. throw as the hitter. Bance is tough. You're looking to protect the two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And a foul ball. Soderstrom at third on Duhar. Over at second, Diaz at first, two out of the inning. And ball. there's a ball. On the ground to third. They take the He's force out. out, out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed.
We go to the eighth, and now the right fielder, Lane Thomas. And a pitch. The other way, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second, and one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. So, man aboard. Stone Garrett digging in for the Nationals. That one ripped right center field. And it's into the gap. Run comes in from second. It's 10-1. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Next to hit for the Nats, Joey Meneses. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. That one finds the zone. 4-1. Man at second. Hey. Foul ball still 0 and 2. This one popped up. Diaz after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie, Eddie Rosario. Rosario. Eddie Rosario digging in for the Nationals. Out to center. Settles under it. Two down. So digging in, the Nick bat. Senzel. The He's already homered in this game. Senzel. down the line could be extra bases coming home he'll score easily it's 11-1 and into second easily with a two-out double didn't take long to get a result for that okay, at bat okay, nice okay. job going the opposite okay. way with it letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball it's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over it was on the outside part of the plate and he approached it perfectly Hebert Ruiz, the next to hit. There's a strike. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. The run comes in from second, and the lead continues to grow. Now back comes up. through with the RBI. Just a very mm -hmm. nice approach and swing mm -hmm. right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on. Now on the bump, Mason Miller. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Ball and a good eye there. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike.
And that one a little bit high. And another ball. Two outs. That one finds the zone. And a full countdown. Popped up foul territory behind the play. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Nats 12 and the A's 1. Back in Oakland, out of the play. bottom of the eighth, the here's the base second man. baseman, Zach Gellar. Williams, 31 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2013. And the right hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And a foul ball. That one, one misses, and it's one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. One and two now. Line drive, speared it first. He takes Got it on it. his own. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The bat, the right, the right field. field. Brent Rooker. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Splits the plate, strike one. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. That one, one misses, and now it's even one and one. That's down and in. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. And Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now he just ran out of Let patience move. there. He took a couple of pitches to even wow. that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. The Athletics with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Two down, nobody on. Right through there, got him. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're looking up at a 12-1 deficit. And we're back. We go to the ninth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Ildemaro Vargas. The wind of the pitch. Whoa. Just missed. High fly ball out into left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Up now for Washington, Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. 
Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and one. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Up and in, two and one. Wouldn't Ball chase three. that time. Called strike right there. Careful. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the ninth. Outside, and that is ball four. Up next for the Nationals. The right so the lineup flips Lane. over, and now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, Lane Thomas. That one in there across the letters. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. At the belt and fires. That one out to right. Nabs it. Now bad at it. The designated hitter. Stone. Garrett. Man at first, Stone Garrett digging in for the Nationals. He's already homered here in this one. Hey. Strike one. The Four Nets one. up big in this one here in the second game of the series. Check hey. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, and two. No base hits, no errors, and one left off. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Nats 12 and the A's 1. Bottom nine, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tyler Soderstrom. And the pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Oh, and two now. And down on strikes he goes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Just overmatched on that fastball yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. And it wasn't the like he was set up for it by something Be off there. speed earlier in the attack. Just too. came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. On Duhar in the box with one away ball as he one, takes no ball one. The A's with a lot of ground to make up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. up hauls it in for the out now got it. third so it's their last chance in this one and now Jordan Diaz oh. 
And it delivers oh, outside. You know, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Kicks and fires. Ball two. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two outs. Good Ball eye in that spot. Out towards left center. Robles on the move. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Nationals slug their way to a win in this one. After a couple of times through the order, this team really figured it out with the bats. A huge fifth inning. And that was all they really needed to get this victory today. Really nice job to pick up the W today. 12-1 is the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Lo conseguí y se me dio, la vida al fin tomó color, vida al palo, buena paga. Solo tengo una vida y la vivo como quiero, porque quiero hasta que me toque morir. Y si la gente no le gusta, que me importa que vivan sus vidas, que la mía yo la voy a vivir. Fueron muchas bajas, pero el proceso lo gozamos. Aquí no hay vibra mala. Si lo sentimos, fiel, nos vamos. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Set up.